My name is John Job. I own Green Dragon Copper and Metal Works, and today I'm going to demonstrate flame painting on copper. And this is how we get our colors. Now, to get to this point, takes about uh, takes about seven different steps of cleaning and polishing to get it to this point. And once we get it there, we're going to take our torch and we're going to start heating up the piece. And we're going to start going through all the colors that are there. And we're going to bring it up to the heaviest layer of oxidation, which is a silver gray. And we're getting there quickly. I'm holding this necklace medallion with a pair of vice grips. I got to let it cool. And I'm going to put it down here in front of the fan and cool it off. And I have to hold it with a pair of vice grips because copper transfers heat quickly. Okay, so now we're going to start with our first layer. And I've got a pretty heavy flame going here, so I'm going to come down about like that. And all we're going to do is we're going to lay the torch against the material like that and it's going to blow away that heavy layer of oxidation right back down to the copper and then we're going to heat it up and get our hottest colors first and now we need to cool it off again and we're going to bring it back up and bring this down a little more. It's a little too much, okay. And I'm gonna start in the middle. And we're gonna come down just like that. And so now we want to be careful not to bring it up too hot. I want my darker colors. So I got some magentas and browns and dark blues. And I'm going to cool it back off. <coughs> and now we're going to do the top side. So we're going to come up here, again, starting in the middle, and we're going to work our way out just like that. And we're going to heat that up. Very slowly, we're going to tease the color into the copper. If I leave the torch there too long, I'll get too much heat and I'll start pulling colors that I don't want. And that's about as far as I want to take that. And so we're gonna cool that off. And now we're gonna go for our coldest colors, which is just, and, and we're gonna turn our torch down again. And we're gonna let that flame feather just a little. And we're gonna start in the middle. It's a little too little, about there. And we're just going to blow that off and put some highlights in it. And then we'll do the top end. 
And now, I have a medallion. I'll uh, paint it, put a hole in the top, and put a jump ring on it, put a necklace strand on it, and put it out for sale. But that's how copper flame painting works. Thank you.